when I first came to this subject matter and this story, uh, there was a criminal organization run by a family, mm -hmm. and their crimes were unbelievably outrageous, devious, manipulative, and far worse than, than my perception of them before I started researching it. Then simultaneously, there were uh, very, very clear-cut victims. And so my original goal before Beth came on board was to dramatize all this, was to, it was to create a clear record of what Purdue Pharma did. Mm -hmm. Also at the time, I saw the show because uh, Oxycontin prescribing had started to come down because it had become so you know, well known at that point, but they were using their same dishonest techniques mm -hmm. all over the world now. So part of what I, I wanted to do was to send a warning to the world that Purdue Pharma and the Sacklers are coming to addict you. Mm -hmm. so, so that was part of it, but the other part was to show the victims and to hopefully redefine uh, the stereotype of addiction, which is what Beth did so beautifully in her book, which is why I embraced her when, when it was, you know, when we were asked to, to team up, because that seems to be not just a, something that could be so incredible for people that suffer from addiction that may not completely understand that their brain chemistry has been altered, mm -hmm. um, but for loved ones, friends, uh, and that by having a new understanding of what is actually happening on a scientific level, it could a create much more compassion, mm -hmm. you know, and then and then hopefully a much better understanding of how to potentially solve the problem. So th those were my goals, um, and 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 it had nothing to do with what anyone else in Hollywood was up to.